Hi, welcome to my channel, Senior Sue Cacti and Succulents. Today I am going to tackle this uh, Hesperallo. It is a red yucca, and as you can see, it is just loaded with weeds. And this will be the second time I've dug it up and pulled the weeds out, but that's the only way to do it. And I have decided that I'm going to completely remove it because it really does not go well in here once it gets tall. So let me show you what I have in here. So that is going to go in my backyard and I'll show you where I end up planting it. So what I'm going to do is dig it up, pull all of the weeds out in between, you know, every little spot there and also in the ground. So I'll show you how I do that. This yucca should come out pretty easy because we have had a ton of rain, so my ground should be fairly soft. It's out. This is the area where I was going to plant the Hesperallo, but um, I don't want it interfering with the electrical boxes if we need to get back there and have work done or hit the circuit breaker. And then I was thinking of putting it here, but may need to get at those controls to replace it. So what I've decided is to put it right here under the window. I'm going to move that uh, brick and uh, put this plant someplace else and I'm going to put it right there. You can see look at the mess. I've got to start pulling those weeds out. Now that all of the weeds have been pulled out, at least I hope they're all out, I wanted to show you how I divided this uh, Hesperallo. You can divide it just like you would a daylily or an agapanthus. So I took my spade and just chopped it right there. And you can see I have four pieces, and actually I have more, but um, you wanna make sure you have some roots on them. And so it's really easy. And so I'll, instead of one plant, now I have four right here and I think a couple more laying on my potting bench. So I think I'm only gonna plant just the one over there, this one right here. And like I said, I hope I got all of the weeds out. Okay, let's get digging. All right, so this is where it is going to go, right underneath that window.
want to make sure I get it all cleaned up so it looks good. Ooh, those are hard to cut. Maybe not. Boy, I tore that up. I'll just leave it. going to water it in because this ground is pretty wet from all the rains. I'm going to need a little more lava rock. Okay, this area is starting to shape up. I think it looks pretty good there. And as long as I'm here, I'm gonna show you this cacti that I have blooming. Oop. Kinda pretty. All right, I'm gonna take you back out to the front yard. Here is the front with the Hesperalo moved. Um, I did take out a, a, a portalacaria that was right there in front of this big aloe. And here where the turtle is, it's kind of a dry pond instead of a dry stream bed because I didn't have enough dirt to fill, fill it up, make it a little more level. The turtle's sitting down there in his dry pond. Anyway, I think it looks a whole lot better with that gone. It just didn't go in here. And I am going to eventually move that sticks on fire, probably over into that area where the big cactus is. But you can see I need to also trim that poor Lucaria. It's way too big. And I have some weeds. Anyway, so that is it for now. Check back with me again to see what I'm up to. Bye.